On Wednesday mornings, we make breakfast for the team, and it's one of my weekly responsibilities to make sure that it gets there in a safe manner. <sighs> Got it. We've been doing team breakfast for everybody for many, many years now, and we started this practice in a in a little restaurant. Uh, I almost said a gas station. I don't know why. But anyways, at a little restaurant uh, several years ago, and it's just continued to grow and transform. And it's kind of become a little bit of a chore to feed over th almost 30 people on a weekly basis. But my wife, Jessica, does an amazing job prepping on Tuesday and then getting up really early on Wednesday morning to make sure that the, the buggy back here is packed with all the food hot, ready to go. Morning, Sergey. Morning. Morning, Mike. Morning, Andrew. Morning, Sam, Levi. So we have uh, burritos, queso, chorizo queso, hash browns, more hash browns, eggs for Kevin and Levi. Morning, Lucas. This broke my camera. Well, I need to look at these, but... <laughs> it was the steam coming off of your <laughs> off of your cup that was cooking in there. I can't get it any like warmer. I kept trying to cup this set as warm as it was. It's because it was melting. <laughs> it will only I can only I, crank it up to 145 degrees. You, I can't get it any yeah. higher. <laughs> I would I like to drink my coffee closer to about 190. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's relevant. Did you just do finger guns on that thing? <laughs> Man, I just had an amazing lunch, an amazing meeting with uh, somebody that I've connected with many years ago and just kind of re was able to reconnect with them today. And uh, it, was, it was awesome. They reached out to me based off of seeing some of these videos on, uh, on the internet. And I, I always enjoy being able to connect with people and talk about that type of stuff and about growing business and leadership skills and so forth. And on top of all that, I get to come in uh, in beautiful downtown Charlotte. I'm at the corner of Trade and Tryon right now. I've got about 20 minutes before I have to get on a webinar, and I think I'm going to go sit in a coffee shop and, and enjoy that. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to take advantage of some of the uh, electric scooters around town. Let's go.
what a day. So I literally just walked out of a meeting uh, in, in our conference room with a customer that we've been working on a big project with and we're looking at another opportunity for some cameras. It was the first time I've ever got to meet them. Uh, our team has been doing an awesome job and, and he paid our organization the, the biggest compliment. He just said every person, and he's met a lot of us, <laughs> but every person that he has dealt with directly uh, with our organization has been amazing, that has been very helpful, been very very kind, and the utmost level of professionalism. And he, he looked at me and he said, whatever it is that you guys are doing here, you're doing it right and keep it up. And that is, that's so encouraging because you know, as business owners, as business leaders, there's times that you just, you get frustrated with yourself, you get frustrated with a lot of things, and to be able to to hear somebody and, and to have somebody recognize that. He also paid great compliments to our uh, proposals and, and all of the, the communication and documentation that he's gotten. He's, he said it just looks, it all looks very well put together. And anyway, I, I don't mean that in any way bragging. It was just very exciting and, and he uh, communicated it uh, very, very nicely. Um, and paid, paid our organization a lot of compliments. I appreciate the wonderful compliments. You, you, you've been very, very kind, but understand that you know, we're obviously not perfect and we're, go we're gonna make mistakes and we will at some point in time have an issue or, or cause a problem. And when he said this statement, I think this was an interesting statement to take away. He said, it's, uh, it's easy to find a company that is, uh, that is good with perfection, but it's it's a difference if a company knows how to handle imperfections. That's incredible, right? That is literally the, the, the kind of catalyst behind a good service company, one that knows how to handle imperfections. We all hopefully have the, the, the high accolades and the perfections and the, the perfect, uh, perfect installation and perfect response and all that, but when it's imperfect, what do you do about it? It was a very exciting meeting. Uh, man, it's been a great day. Awesome lunch meeting uh, uptown. Great to connect with people. Uh, webinars today, great team meetings all around. Guys, I'm telling you, it's been a great Wednesday. I have to expend some mental energy to come up with something creative to say. <laughs> well, well, what have you been working on? You could just... Uh, you just give finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Twinsies. Have a good day, guys. See ya. See ya. Ah, there's a the wall. <laughs>